Hey everyone, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home and today I have another collab for you. And this one is hosted by JA Chronicles and this is all about salads. And all we had to do was make a recipe that had salad in the name. So I've got three great recipes for you. And I will link their channel below. Be sure to check out their channel. They have great recipes, great what's for dinner, great food content. So I will link their channel below and I'll also link the playlist. That way, after you watch my video, you can click on that playlist and watch all the other videos and you'll get some great ideas for some salads. And if you're new coming from another channel, I want to say welcome and I hope you'll like and subscribe and join my YouTube family. And welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So I will turn you around and get started with the recipes and I will have those recipes either linked below or typed out in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, the first one we're gonna make is a Snicker salad. And I love Snickers, so I'm all in on this one. So all it calls for is some vanilla pudding instant. I've got a cup of milk, I've got some Snickers. Uh, it calls for four apples, but I'm only using two because I didn't buy but two. And a whole container of Cool Whip Thawed. So let's get started on this recipe. It says to whisk the pudding mix and the milk for two minutes. So hopefully my arm will last for two minutes. Okay, that was definitely a workout. So I'm gonna add the whole container of thawed Cool Whip. And it says just to fold it in. So I'm gonna just try and gently Fold the pudding mix into the Cool Whip. I hope this is good because this sounds delicious. You could probably experiment maybe with different fruits and different puddings. I might try that. Okay, I've got my apples chopped. I'm going to add that to the mixture. I'm using a Granny Smith apple. I like that because it's tart and it's crunchy. And I'm going to cut up the Snicker bars and I'm going to add those in there and then stir it up. Okay, I've chopped up my Snickers. I just used a six pack of the fun size. Put those in and then let's mix it up. It's very easy. And what I did was I took half of the pudding and the Cool Whip mixture out because I only had two apples. So I thought I could just save that and then put more apples in there because the recipe said you want it to you want to kind of eat it the day of because the next day it will get kind of watery. So I figured that way I can have it two times and I wouldn't have to worry about it getting watered down. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator and let it set and get even more delicious than it already looks. Okay, this Snicker apple salad is has been in the refrigerator for a couple hours and I'm just going to put some caramel, dribble, some, dribble, drizzle some caramel syrup over the top to make it over the top. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. We tried this and it was delicious. You really need to make this recipe. Okay, next I'm going to make a copycat Olive Garden salad and I'm excited. I've never made one at home before but I love the ones at Olive Garden. So I've just got some romaine lettuce that I cut up and it calls for three tomatoes but I'm just going to use one because there's just the two of us. 
Okay, I said one onion thinly sliced. I'm gonna go ahead and I did like three-fourths of this red onion and I kind of cut them into smaller pieces because this was a big onion. I'm gonna add some pepperoncini peppers to it, about a cup. It does say a can of black olives. I don't have any right now, but I'm gonna go to the store and get some because I love black olives and I, I wanna have that in here because that's one of the things I like about the salad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the dressing in and I'm using the, the it says it's Olive Garden. I don't think it, it, I don't think it tastes quite as good as the one you get in the restaurant, but you wouldn't go to the restaurant, would you, if it did? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate. You should smell this, it smells amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Olive Garden dressing on there. Just gonna pour my Parmesan on there. I love Parmesan. And now I'm gonna put my Olive Garden croutons on there. Garlic and Romano. Minus the olives, it is a perfect olive garden, a perfect olive garden salad. It looks too pretty to eat, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Okay, and the last one is a twisted sister cucumber salad. Now I've done this on my channel before and I will link that video if you wanna watch that one but I have got cucumbers, green peppers, red onion, a tomato, apple cider vinegar, Duke's mayonnaise, of course has to be Duke's, some parsley and some seasoned salt. And I've already cut up the cucumbers. It said two medium, but I had some small ones, so I just cut up enough to where it looks like two medium cucumbers. You can always, the ratio doesn't have to be exact if you like onions you can add more like i did you could add less tomatoes like i did and the green peppers i added one and it was supposed to be a half so you can make this your own if if you need more sugar less sugar less vinegar more vinegar you can play around with the ingredients it's still great i've already got the sugar in here because i didn't think i was going to have enough so i've got four tablespoons of sugar in here and the cucumbers so I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables to it. I already chopped those up. You need a half a cup of mayonnaise, but I'm just gonna eyeball it because I don't wanna wash it. <laughs> That's how easy it is. You can adapt it to whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably, that's probably a half a cup. <laughs> and the directions say two tablespoons of white vinegar, but I'm using apple cider. When I usually make this, I use rice wine vinegar. It's not as strong, which the white is strong. That's why I'm using this. I don't like it to be too tangy. Okay, I've got the half a cup of mayonnaise. I've got two tablespoons of white vinegar. I've got the four tablespoons of granulated sugar at the bottom. So now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the parsley flakes. It also says a teaspoon of dry dill. I don't like dill in this, so I'm not gonna put that in there and it calls for a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Okay, so I'm gonna combine this and the recipe says to refrigerate this for at least two hours. And I meant to say, it says to peel the cucumbers 
and to have them and cut them into half inch cuts. And the recipe says it will look like it's dry and it will. I've made this plenty of times and it will look like there's not enough liquid in there. But believe me, in two hours, you'll see a lot of liquid because the cucumbers will sweat when you put the salt in there. So don't worry. And let this set for two hours. And I guarantee you this will be your new favorite salad. Okay, it's been in the refrigerator for a couple hours and it is perfect and ready to eat. Okay, I hope you'll try these recipes. And if you do, let me know down below if you tried them and if you liked them or not. And I really enjoyed all three recipes. And I want to thank JA Chronicles again for doing this collab. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun one. And I will have their channel linked below as well as the playlist. And I will try and either link the recipes or type them out in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in the next video.